to well. St. John chapter 3 verse 25 to 27. It is written, Then there arose a question between some of the John disciples and the Jews, about purifying, and they came unto John, and said unto him, Rabbi, he that was with thee beyond Jordan, to whom thou bearest witness, behold, the same baptized, and all men, the same bearest witness, behold, the same baptized, and all men come to him. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it being given him from heaven. This is clear that a man received nothing except at is given him as it is given him by God. Whatever you are be striving to have, whatever you are be praying behind the scene, longing to have, every good and perfect gift come from God. So there is every God for you to always thank God in everything because he is the giver of every good thing. You have to thank God in everything concerning you. Yes. In Psalm 75, verse 6 to 7. Psalm 75, verse 6 to 7. It is written, For promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west, nor from the south, but God is the judge. He put down one and set up another. He enthroned one and dethroned another. The promotion, true promotion, come from God. The promotion you are be willing to have, that healing you want, that breakthrough you want, that opportunity you want, that helper you want, come from God. True promotion that added no sorrow, come from God. So there's every reason we have to always thank God in everything we do. Whatsoever circumstance you are. This is what the Bible said in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse number 18. He said, In every circumstance it is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus to always thank God. He said, in everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. You see, it is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you to always give thanks in any situation, in any circumstance. Jesus is the owner of the breakthrough. He's the owner of the opportunity. Is the one that will cause promotion to come. He is the one that will bring the healing. True healing, true peace, true joy come from him. This is the reason we have to always stand because it is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus to always give thanks. Are you there right now? Someone have broken your heart? Are you there right now? Someone have forgotten you? You're the one you trust most, have ostracized you, betrayed you? Thank God for everything. You are still living. Thank God for you are still living. Yes. Listen, he never forsake you. He never forgone you. You have to thank God for everything. Are you there now still dreaming? Do you know that you dream someone is attacking you? This one is about to fall. The rain is falling in the dream. Or somebody pursues you in the dream. Or this opportunity is about to happen in the dream. Whether it is a good dream or a bad dream. God will reveal it to you so that you can pray about it. So to reject or to, to accept it. If God really hates you, will he permit that dream to come to you? Do you think the devil is so, so good to the extent he will allow you to dream about something that is about to happen to you? No. When devil plan, God will reveal it in the dream. So if you dream and the rain is falling, it means something is about to happen. Then you have to pray. But by the evil effect of it, I reject it in Jesus' mighty name. This is supposed to be what you are supposed to be doing. God loves you. That is why he brings that dream to you. Do you know if devil plan, God will reveal to you in the dream. The devil can never allow you to see his own strategy concerning you. No. God is the revealer of the plan of the enemy in the dream or in a trance or in a vision so that you can pray. If God can give you a dream and you see the strategy of the enemy, 
and you now pray or you fasted, it means God loves you. All other things that you needed, it will be given to you by the same God. In Psalm 121 verse 1 to 2, Psalm 121 verse 1 to 2, it is written, I lift up my eyes unto the hill, from where cometh my help. My air come from the Lord, which made the hovel and the earth. You see, the, the, our help come from God, who made the heaven and the earth. This is the reason you have to always thank God every time. The favor of the Lord that maketh rich, that added no sorrow, always come from God. God is faithful, even when we are unfaithful. He loves you. It is the will of God for you, in Christ Jesus, to always give thanks. In whatsoever circumstance you are, give thanks. Just imagine, imagine someone give you a token, and you are always saying, brother or sister, I thank you for what you give to me that day. I thank you. The person will have the, 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 the power, he will have the mind, he will have the zeal to do more for you again. When he said, I thank you for the five euro, for the 50 euro, for the 100 euro you gave me the other day, for the help you rendered me the other day, for the way you see me through the other day, for the way you helped me out the other day, I thank you. And this is something a year ago. You are giving that person power to help more other people. You are giving that person, person power to help you the more. Yes. If you tell me thank you for what I have done for you eight months ago or five years ago, and I'm willing to do more for you, what about what do you think about your heavenly father? Who is the creator? Think about it. In Daniel chapter 2, verse 21, he is the regulator of time and season. The battle is not for the strong or for the weak. Time and chance make it happen. Who regulate time and chance? Who regulate the season? He is the regulator of the season. Thank God for everything. Do you know that everything have a time? Ecclesiastes chapter three. He said there's a time, a time for this, a time for this, a time for that. Your own time will come. It's very near. You have to thank God. Yes, that thing you want from God, that healing, that the breakthrough, that promotion, that open door. Thank God for it, even why is it you don't yet have it. God is faithful. When you thank him, he will help you out. He is faithful. He is always with you. As you think you, everywhere is so silent, your prayer is not answered, God is walking in the silence. Always thank him. It is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you to always give thanks. That time the favor will come. He is the one that is regulating the time. He know the appointed time. God is a God of timing. He is a God. He said, at the appointed time, I will see you through. I will do it at the appointed time. Let's go to 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 11. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse number 11. It is written, All power belongs to God. It is written in 1 Peter Peter chapter 5 verse number 11 he said to him be glory and dominion forever and ever in some bible it is written he said all power glory and honor belongs to God all authority he said the heaven and the earth and the sea and all that is in the heaven and the earth and the sea visible and invisible principalities and power on the throne of dominion in higher places all created by Jesus and all for him so we have every God to give in thanks. Do you know many never wake up this morning? Do you know that many have never waken up, they never have power to wake up this morning? Do you know that many have never tasted food since more than three months? They have been given drip in the hospital. Why are we using the availability of money or availability of no money to say we cannot give God thanks? Whenever you rise up in the morning, put your knees down and say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for all you have done for me. Do you know that the greatest blessing you have is accepting Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? 
you knowing God alone, you knowing Jesus, accepting him as your personal Lord Savior, it's enough to you to say, Baba, thank you. Hallelujah. In Romans chapter 9, verse 21, Romans 9, 21. Yes. Had not the potter power over the clay of the same lump or to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? The Lord is the potter. The humor are the clay. Just imagine a, a, a clay, a powder clay mixed with water that becomes something like a mound. Now, the Lord Jesus is the potter. Can the pot tell the maker, the, which is the potter, make me like this or make me like that? I want to have three handles. I want to have four handles. No. Just imagine, can the, can the gold, the, go, the gold, tell it go smith, make me like this or make me, I don't, I don't want to have that shape, I want to have this shape? Always thank God. When the goings get tough, thank God. When the burden of life seems heavy, thank God. In the middle of the ocean, in the middle of the fire, thank God. He is with you. He is not mad at you. The Lord is not mad at you. He loves you. Wipe up your tears. Cheer up. Stand up. Be bold. Be courageous. It is time for you to know that he loves you. He loves you. He said, I will hold you with the right hand of my righteousness. That is what the word of God said. And I will help you. He said, he said don't be afraid. I am with you. So this is enough for you to always thank God every day, every moment. When you remember him. All he has done for you. Remember, he is the Abba Father. We are reigning in his sufficiency. When someone gives you a gift, <laughs> except the Lord put it in his heart, he cannot give to you. You have to thank God. Always thank God. This is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do you know James 1 17? James 1 17 that every good and perfect gift is from above is from God and come down from the father of light with whom is no very variableness neither shadow of a tony every good and perfect gift come from above every good and perfect gift come from God Nahum chapter 1 N-E-H-U Nahum N-E-H-U-M Nahum give me, the, give me the Nahum chapter 1 verse 7 it said God is good a stronghold in the days of trouble and he knew them that trust in him do you know that when a man is to fall when a man is about to fall any can, anything can be your stronghold Anything you see is what you are to hold. If the Lord is your stronghold in the days of trouble, when the burden of life is heavy, He protects you. Let Him be your stronghold. And as, he is your, and as you really know that it's your stronghold today, you will always have every reason to always thank the Lord. As you do, so taste and see. That is what the Bible said in the book of James. It said, taste and see that the Lord is good. The Lord is good. God is good. As you begin to praise him today, just start praising God, thanking God for your life. Start doing it. Every moment, keep on thanking God. Just watch not the The blessings of the Lord that make it rich. High to surround your domain. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. May the word of God be blessed forevermore. Amen. And uh, amen. This is what I have for you for now. Amen. The Lord is good. In First Chronicles chapter 16, verse number 34. 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 34. Give thanks to God. 
he said oh give thanks to god give thanks unto the lord for he is good for his mercy endureth for ever give thanks to god glory be to god amen and there amen